All Heaven Interested in Saving Souls, June 27. Directed by the Spirit. To wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 19. In the work of saving men, men and angels are to work in harmony, teaching the truth of God to those who are unlearned therein, in order that they may be set free from the bonds of sin. Truth alone can make men free. The liberty that comes through a knowledge of truth is to be proclaimed to every creature. Our Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, and the angels of heaven are all interested in this grand and holy work. To man has been given the exalted privilege of revealing the divine character by unselfishly seeking to rescue man from the pit of ruin into which he has been plunged. Every human being who will submit to be enlightened by the Holy Spirit is to be used for the accomplishment of this divinely conceived purpose. Christ is the head of his church, and it will glorify him the more to have every portion of that church engaged in the work for the salvation of souls. There is more joy in heaven over one sinner that repents, than over the ninety and nine who suppose they need no repentance. When we hear of the success of the truth in any locality, let the whole church join in songs of rejoicing, let praises ascend to God. Let the name of the Lord be glorified by us, and we shall be inspired with greater zeal to become workers together with God. The Lord urges us to fulfill the injunction, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature, Mark chapter 16 verse 15. But we need to leave more room for the working of the Holy Spirit, in order that laborers may be bound together and may move forward in the strength of a united body of soldiers. Let all remember that we are, a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men, 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 9. Therefore each one should inquire with meekness and fear, what is my path of duty? Entire consecration to the service of God will reveal the molding influence of the Holy Spirit at every step along the way. The Review and Herald, July 16, 1895.